When you see a coyote, think smart. Long Island, New York, the United States, the Earth. Lawn, strip mall, post office, dive bar. I was fresh at Harvard, undeclared. Go on. This is Active Listening, a new dramatist's podcast that invites the resident playwrights to experiment with story, intimacy, and immediacy through sound experiences. This initiative was born of the questions that became urgent as our pandemic lockdowns began. What are the alternatives to gathering together in rooms? What might a play for the ear sound like? Each episode is written and recorded by a different resident playwright. This episode features work by Matthew Paul Olmos in collaboration with April Dawn Guthrie. The piece pulls actual text from next door message boards, which have been lightly edited for timing and dramatic purpose. This is Who's Next Door by Matthew Paul Olmos and April Dawn Guthrie. <laughs> Next Door believes connecting with others is a universal human need. Next Door is where you connect to neighborhoods. By bringing neighbors and organizations together, we can cultivate a kinder world. Message board. Robin Kay at Hope and Palermo, 10 days ago. Does anyone know if this cat has a home? I feed it every day. Loves to meow while it walks and it likes to hang out on our porch swing. Won't let me pet it or get too close. It has no collar. Vincent J. Hastings Ranch, seven days ago. Picked up a hitchhiker today. He seemed like a nice guy. After a while, though, he asked me if I wasn't afraid that he might be a serial killer. I told him that the odds of two unrelated serial killers in the same car at the same time is astronomical. Jason B. Fletcher Avenue, seven days ago. Krispy Kreme is almost open! Double exclamation points. Responses. Elizabeth A. Great. More traffic. Jude M. Wait, isn't that why we fought the freeway going through here? So we would get more traffic for our businesses? You can't have it both ways. Jennifer A. Arcadia West. Six days ago. Hi, neighbors. Thinking of selling lumpia, Filipino egg rolls, and or plates of chicken adobo to my neighbors. Is there any interest here? Stacy S. North Marengo. Five days ago. The church at the corner of Mountain Street and El Molino Avenue has been painted and all the bars taken off the windows. I walked by on Sunday and could hear the preacher inside since the windows were open. It's nice to see the beautiful stained glass. Eric B. Daisy Villa, five days ago. In front of 494 Daisy at 446 p.m. Coyote. Pick. Responses. Bradley W. Aw, cute. Getting some rest. Millions of acres have been burned and they have nowhere to go. Ellen A. Bradley. I agree with you. Some people have the attitude of if they don't like something or it's not cute, shoot it. Kill it. People move to the foothills and then complain about the wildlife. Okay, off my soapbox. Silvana L. I think this one hangs out on Brayburn too. Very plush and healthy looking. Upon more reading, they are quite an asset to humans as they keep the rodent population under control. They also eat berries. Smiley face. Alonzo Fuller, East Eaton Wash, four days ago. Last night a coyote attacked one of our dogs inside our fenced, lit backyard. I heard my Labrador barking strangely and ran out to see it literally being attacked. I I yelled loudly and advanced and the coyote leapt back over the fence. My dog was bitten on her face. I hope she's okay. Please report coyote sightings to this link. It lists coyote incidents and maps. I'm also looking into wolf urine and coyote rollers. Responses. Karen B. Yikes. When I let my dog out at night, I go out with him and I take one, a very bright LED flashlight, and two, a dog horn, which is ear-splittingly loud. Gerardo C. Altadena Drive, two days ago. Coyote in backyard. A coyote has come into our backyard repeatedly in the past couple of weeks. Response. Lika. There are about three coyote threads going on next door. Please see the others. Don't walk your animals without some sort of protection. Stick, stun gun, air horns, pepper spray, etc. We 
We have to save ourselves. Not the sheriff, not the Humane Society, not fish and wildlife. I have air guns with wildlife balls, motion sensor lights, tasers, BB and pellet guns, pepper spray, ring motion sensors, and a fearless attitude to protect my animals. I get up at 2 a.m. to chase wildlife off, and I just don't get people who do nothing. I don't resent wild animals. Stop wringing your hands and armor up. Jen L. Garvey Reservoir. One day ago. Coyote! Yesterday morning, a coyote tried to attack my dog in our backyard. This morning, the same, or, or maybe a different coyote, was in my neighbor's yard and then sauntered in front of our house. It's the size of a medium dog and has darker stripes down its back. Responses. Stephen A. Someone suggested BB guns? Let's arm the neighborhood with BB guns. Let's show those pesky coyotes who's boss in La Lomba Park. Diane A. Steve, it's illegal to shoot at coyotes. And I don't think coyotes are wondering who's the boss. They're doing what's natural to them. We've moved into their territory. Anthony P. Bungalow Heaven, one day ago. Coyote attack in our backyard. Around 8 p.m., a coyote snuck up behind us and bit our eight-week-old lab mix. She started squealing, and I turned and started growling and yelling, but the coyote didn't move. I picked up my dog and then started banging on the ground and yelling. It started to retreat, but I had to move closer and closer till it slowly backed off. I wasn't sure what happened, then my wife saw blood on her tail. I think she just got nicked, but she's eight weeks old, so we went to the emergency vet. Later, I saw the coyote still standing by our driveway. I made more noise to chase it off, but it only went a few houses down. Response. Lauren G. That is crazy. I wonder if rocks would work. Teresa Glover. Bungalow Heaven. Six hours ago. Hi, neighbors. F-Y-I. Last night, I witnessed a coyote stalking a mom and her five-year-old in the park. The coyote started to go after the boy and he fell down screaming. He was so terrified. I had to throw rocks and chase it before it would leave. I reported it to the police. Responses. Duncan S. Did you not see the other posts? The coyote was aggressive because people were feeding it. It now associates humans with food. The parks are no longer safe for parents and children. If anything needs to be removed, it's the idiots who feed coyotes. Neighborhood Coyote Program, three hours ago. Coyote safety. When you see a coyote, think smart. Please report any and all sightings using our coyote hotline, email, or by completing this form. Link. Mateus C., Ackley Street, just now. Neighbors, this just happened. Link. Click. Warning, the following surf camp footage may be difficult to watch. There, you can see the family playing on the beach last night. That's the mother and her oldest child facing the waves, dipping their feet into the water. Neither of them have seen the youngest child turn around as the animal jumps, knocks her down, then continues to bite her face. The little girl is thought to be only two or three years old. Officials tried to trap the coyote and later shot two of them dead on the beach. You just heard Who's Next Door. It was created in collaboration by April Don Guthrie and Matthew Paul Olmos from a concept by Matthew Paul Olmos. Music was composed by April Don Guthrie. Active Listening is a project of New Dramatists and is produced by Corinne Keithley Sires and Melissa Tien. More information on the series and a sonic visualization of each episode can be found by going to newdramatists.org slash active listening. New Dramatists is one of the country's leading playwright centers and a nationally recognized new play laboratory. Its mission is to provide playwrights with time, space, and resources in the company of gifted peers to create work, realize their artistic potential, and make lasting contributions to the theater. Active listening is made possible with generous support from the Venturous Theatre Fund of the Tides Foundation.